YouTube, Glorzy here, and welcome back to the channel. So on my last feed, I went through the spark plugs, uh, checked the timing mark on those, uh, checked the fueling, everything to uh, everything looked to be good. I uh, ended up adding one more degree of spark in there, uh, took the car full drive, did a couple hits, and we broke the belt again. So behind me, as you can see, uh, we are currently at three broken belts so far, and I have had it. I'm just done with it. So I actually looked on Amazon, and I got me a uh, Deco laser alignment tool. And I think that will uh, help us solve this uh, belt shredding issue, this pulley alignment problem that we've been having. I uh, went ahead and I took off the uh, tensioner, the tensioner pulley. That way we have a clear line of sight between the procharger pulley and the crank pulley, as you can see. So when that comes in, I'm going to mount those on and see what needs to be shimmed. When I first put the, the, the car back together, I didn't have a shim. Uh, here by the uh, brackets and I instantly shredded the first belt and I kind of eyeballed it and I ended up shimming it right here I don't know if you guys remember and it kind of got better but seems like the problem is still here hopefully this helps us get rid of our belt problems also went ahead and I soft softened the rear suspension uh, increased the dampening on that or decreased the dampening whichever and also raised the ride height so I just troubleshooting this um, traction issues I've been having so we'll keep working that as well see how that goes well yeah so not much going on today uh, I got my boy Will uh, coming within the next hour or so and we're gonna be uh, converting his uh, 93 octane uh, setup uh, Pro Charge C5 uh, 60 built block gonna be converting that from 93 to uh, 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 utilizing the AFI Live, so it'll be, it'll be the first time that I'm using that program, and I'm just kind of excited to see how it goes. So we're at the gas station now, and about two hours later, I uh, took a uh, crash course of just learning and uh, learning our way through and navigating through the AFI Live, and it is, uh, I would say it's pretty intricate. Uh, HP Tuners is a lot more dumbed down, a lot more straightforward, but we uh, have our charts set up. I did a quick data log, as you can see, uh, we are monitoring our RPM throttle position. Um, vehicle speed, uh, O2 millivolts over here, our map, data, spark, knock with touch. So pretty much everything that we need to be monitoring, uh, we are. And um, with his car, like I said, we're gonna be switching it from 93 to 85. And um, that'll be that. So once he comes out, we're gonna be siphoning out the 93, uh, adding the E, and then uh, I'm gonna be taking out uh, a little bit of timing uh, and uh, multiplying his, um, VE tables, but I'll, I'll start off with uh, 20% to uh, accommodate, see if that's still rich and lean, and then we'll take it from there. Starting the 93 out of it now. Put some of that alcohol in it. Data logging now, we're 85. You can see the short term fuel trim is adding about. 13, 14, 15, 16 um, percent of fuel to maintain that uh, switch metric. So we can go back to the BE table and add about another five, maybe six percent back in there, and uh, work it closer to uh, the short term fuel to add in maybe three, four, maybe five percent, and then we can take it from there. All right, so with 85, we got the car at about 
negative five, negative four uh, short term fuel trim. So before it was adding fuel, so now it's taking away a little bit of fuel. Uh, it's fine, we're gonna leave it a little bit rich for now and uh, keep uh, tuning and keep that along. Here's a log of the last pull we did and everything looked good until we uh, lost our signal from the uh, throttle position sensor. So it literally went from 99% all the way down to uh, 2. Hold on to me. To backtrack right there. And the car just fell on its face. So um, we're going to be replacing the throttle position sensor along with the actuator down by the uh, gas pedal and uh, taking it from there. Um, fuses were fine. Um, the wiring behind the head, we uh, took a look at it, didn't show any signs of chafing, but we're probably going to end up taking the uh, intake manifold off to uh, get a more uh, in-depth inspection of the wirings behind there and make sure the grounds are good. My experience with HP Tuners definitely uh, helped me with the navigating uh, as far as like knowing what our channels to add and um, what to look for as well. So, But I would say uh, definitely grateful uh, that I was able to uh, play with this new programming. Um, HP Tuners is, is a bit more straightforward. It seems like it's a lot less moving parts, but I guess it's pretty much all about preference. Um, from what I read, uh, the EFI Live helps with like the diesel tuning and everything like that. And a good thing is, once I reach my uh, maximum capabilities with the uh, factory PCM and I switch over to like a Holly Dominator, um, using this program, it's not going to be like too uh, foreign to me, and you know, it'll just be kind of I guess smooth sailing from there. Swapping out the uh, uh here's a new one. Good. Okay. 